Bill, the man of science, has been thrilling us with the latest discoveries and unraveling old mysteries for decades. His passion for the final frontier captivates our interest as he introduces us to the vastness of space that surrounds us and stretches infinitely above. Recently, Bill broke his silence on the most recent images from the James Webb Space Telescope. These images offer a glimpse into the universe from more than 13 billion years ago, fundamentally altering our knowledge of the cosmos and our perspective on life itself. This telescope is making groundbreaking discoveries about distant planets, galaxies, and much more. It is a revolutionary scientific breakthrough and a worthy successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. So, what is so special about the James Webb images that defied our expectations and theories? Bill has much to say about them. The creation of this telescope was the result of years of work by NASA scientists and engineers. It was launched on Christmas Day 2021. The various steps of the telescope's deployment proceeded smoothly over the next few months. By the end of June 2022, scientists began to discover thousands of new galaxies, older and more distant than previously known. Some of these galaxies might have formed 150 million years before Hubble's oldest discovery. The telescope can capture enough light from celestial objects, such as exoplanets and stars, to show their composition and trajectories through space. Bill says that these data are already beginning to reveal in great detail the atmospheric composition of planets light years away from Earth. This allows scientists to make suggestions about their potential to harbor life as we know it. One of the Hubble Space Telescope's most recognizable sights has long been the pillars of creation in the Eagle Nebula. This structure was visible to the telescope that primarily detects visible light. However, the processes of creation within it were not captured until the Webb Telescope's infrared imaging. This revealed many protostars, which appear as clusters of dust and gas, each several times larger than our solar system, appearing as tiny red dots against the background of the pillars. The stars visible in the photograph are not yet consuming hydrogen, according to Bill. As more material is attracted to the center of the star, it becomes denser until it reaches such a density that hydrogen burning begins. This causes a dramatic rise in temperature to about 2 million degrees Celsius. The different colors in the image represent infrared wavelengths, which are mostly invisible to us. The only visible part of the image appears blue. The hues also increase the red radiation in the image since the protostars generate radiation at a wavelength six times longer than that of the human eye. According to Bill, this image not only demonstrates the infrared capabilities of the Webb telescope, but also the formation of stars like our sun. The first exoplanets were found in the 1990s, and today there are more than 3,000 confirmed planets orbiting distant stars. However, only about 1,000 of them have been directly imaged. Most exoplanets are so far away that they can only be detected when the light from their host star is blocked. The first direct image of an exoplanet was taken in September last year. This planet was identified in 2017 and given the name HIP 65426b. Scientists used coronagraphs on telescopes to exclude light from the central star, along with two of the Webb telescope's cameras, a series of filters, and other equipment to observe it. The planet has several features that make it easier to see. In addition to having outstanding infrared sensitivity, this planet is extremely far from its host star, at a distance 100 times greater than the distance between Earth and the Sun. It is a massive gas giant, nearly 12 times the size of Jupiter. Although the ghost galaxy is difficult to see in the sky, its brightness can be captured, especially when photographed with an infrared camera. The spiral of the galaxy and its array of stars extending from a radiating center are visible in the optical view of the object, also known as M74. However, a recent image from the Webb telescope shows structures that look like fibers of heat emitting dust and gas emanating from a bright center depicted in electric blue. This new image will illuminate the star-forming regions scattered along the galaxy's spiral arms. In the infinite cosmos, photos from the Hubble and Webb Space Telescopes have been combined to create a stunning composite image. This image highlights portions of the optical and infrared views of the galaxy. The composite image was produced by researchers of the European Space Agency ESA, as part of the FANGS project. This international project uses Hubble, Webb, and several ground-based telescopes to observe 19 nearby galaxies in the infrared. 
With Webb's sharp observations at longer wavelengths, astronomers can identify star formation regions in galaxies. They can also accurately measure the masses and ages of star clusters, as well as the characteristic sizes of tiny dust particles wandering through interstellar space. In an image of a distant star known as Wolf Rayet 40, taken in July last year, a recognizable diffraction pattern was observed. However, this star is also surrounded by an equally unrealistic pattern of wavy concentrated rings with a slightly square shape. These rings, in contrast to the diffraction pattern, are characteristics of massive stars known as wolf rayet stars. These stars are in the late stages of their lives and have already emitted a significant amount of hydrogen. The interaction between W40 and a small companion star gives rise to the peculiar shapes of the rings. The Webb telescope is designed to see the farthest galaxies in the universe. In mid-December of last year, researchers announced that they had detected four of the oldest known galaxies, seen for the first time by Webb. These galaxies date back 13.4 billion years, when the universe was only 350 million years old, or about 2% of its present age. These four galaxies were thought to be extremely old, similar to the hundreds of other galaxies discovered by Webb. The researchers determined the age of the galaxies as part of the Jade Strategic Survey. They used information from the near-infrared spectrograph to rapidly measure the galaxy's remoteness. This elongation of light waves caused by the expansion of the universe is measured by the redshift of galaxies. The largest redshift ever measured was 13.2. To them, these galaxies are more than we could have predicted to discover before James Webb. For the first time, we can locate proto-galaxies with this telescope and then spectrographically verify that they are indeed that far away. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.